Hello, I'm Elizabeth Neal, and I play Shane on LARPs the series, and you are listening to the LARP Book Podcast. So let's do this thing. And welcome to the LARP Book Podcast. This is episode 51 for the 7th of March, 2017. In today's show, we've got LARP Forge in the house. We've got the UK LARP Awards and we've got the Westworld LARP. Right then, so I'm your host, Stuart Edwards. Uh, across the, that way is Rob with the long hair. Uh, over here. Yeah, down, down that, that way. It's different on my screen. <laughs> down, down that way is, is Luke with, with no hair. And, and, oh, and, come on. And beneath me there is, got is hair. Martin, who <laughs> has got doing? lots of hair. You know, who's got more hair than all of us. So, welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> you see, and you, and, you, and you thought it might be a slightly sensible chat. Love Doesn't it. happen. Doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> he says, sipping on his cauldron. Right then, so um, obviously uh, we're going to start off with Martin from Lark Forge because, hey, he's here. He's cool. He does videos and stuff. So well, how you doing, Martin? <laughs> Have a Martin. I am cool. Well, uh, uh, hello, uh, world. <laughs> and hello, love. Book podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's only the three of us watching. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, just to let you know, Martin Vino's chimed in. He's, he's, he's glad to see you're having a turn <laughs> in here. <laughs> Hello, Reno. How are you? <laughs> I'm safe to see him. <laughs> hey, Reno. Wherever you are. Yeah. It's right, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Martin, um, yeah, there's there's a few of you out there that that, that do LARP Forge, that I, I I've looked, I've been looking through the videos and what have you, um, and the videos they're very funny, uh, but also informative, which is good, you know. Um, and, and as we're speaking just before the show started, uh, you're you're the one that tried to blow on and make that horn, which absolutely yeah, there it is. There's the horn. He's got the horn, everybody. <laughs> That's the horn, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> hey, you you can blow your horn if you want to. But I'm not entirely sure my neighbours would like it though. <laughs> <laughs> Could you hear that? You've had the. You've had the. Uh, 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 uh. My fiance, I'm, I'm sitting right across my fiance, and she's with the back turned to me with uh-huh. big headphones on. And as soon as I did like this, she just went, No, she knew, she knew. <laughs> it, it, it's eight o'clock, so you don't do it right now. Oh, you have been so told, yeah. She, she, don't she blow knew, the horn after eight o'clock. No. <laughs> Do, do you know what? It's 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 a it's a very famous saying over here. That one. So, so, um, so, but, uh, L- LARP Forge. Tell us, tell us why, 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 why are you yeah. doing LARP Forge? Uh, how, uh, yeah, and um, how did you actually start it? Because. Uh, well, I'll tell you how this goes at some point, but please, uh, when it all starts. <laughs> uh, uh, how, how it started? Uh, I actually think it started like um, me and some of the other guys that sometimes held out on, help out on LabForge, uh, Dennis mm-hmm. and Michael and some of the other people. Yeah. Uh, we, were, we, had, we started our own LARP. Um, I had our own LARP. And... Um, at some point, uh, we were like, uh, I think we, we started talking about that people uh, did start talking and, and some of the newer players didn't know how to make weapons yeah. and costumes. And it was like, how do you not know this? And why do you only go out and buy stuff? I mean, it's great that you can buy stuff and it's cheap. And yeah. especially at that time, because uh, it was like the hype after Lord of the Rings. And yeah. after, right after that, um, LARP in Denmark was like, 
freaking huge. I mean, you could buy LARP weapons, and makeup, and costumes, and everything in the supermarket. <laughs> Whoa. Like in the like the the store right around your normal right around the corner. Wow! Yeah, you could buy LARP stuff in there. It was weird and crazy, and there was uh, LARP commercials in the cinema, which technically wasn't commercial. It was still more like turn off your cell phone, but it was it was LARPers, um, uh, and and we we were talking about it, uh, and then some it just kind of became a joke, and then I remember when I when I started. Uh, my study as a multimedia designer. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was very into the whole uh, doing webs, uh, into the whole uh, web series uh, and stuff like that. So, um, and very interested in special effects and and wanted to kind of tell everybody about this. Uh, and and we were talking about going to Conquest, which was the first big international. Oh yeah, international art we were going to, and it was like we. Uh, why not? I, I just try it out. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I sat down with, uh, I think, my my very old small cell phone, which had like a front, no, a back camera. Yeah. And yeah. then I, I sort of made a makeshift uh, tripod out of uh, an old ice cream box okay. and some bamboo sticks. I duct taped to this small thing. <laughs> and then I tried to balance it on my. Um, uh, in my very small room where I was uh, living while I was studying. Okay. Yeah. And then just sit up against the wall. And that, of course, didn't work because it could only record for two minutes. Uh, so I had to walk around and balance my computer and try to film something <laughs> with the webcam. Brilliant. <laughs> but that's how the first episode got made. Okay. Uh, that's fab. <laughs> You know, yeah, and and it and it it, it it hasn't changed ever since. So, <laughs> no, no, it's pretty much the same. <laughs> if only they just turned the camera around, they'd find you with the laptop. Yeah, <laughs> with your uh, well, costume on from Asda. Well, to, to to be fair, I do have a camera now, but there's still like uh, there's there's like this much room, which is like half a meter or something yeah. behind the camera where I film, so that you can't yeah. stand behind the camera at all. There's yeah. no room to move in. <laughs> Yeah, um, I mean, I can barely walk to the side yeah. because there's. Like, I have a thing uh, where I stand. I have like a very specific spot I need to stand in because there's like a thing, a uh, metal thing in my back, and oh. I know when it like when it hits me the right way, I know okay, I'm in focus right here. <laughs> so I, I mean, that's good. <laughs> I can't believe you've got to injure yourself before you can go in to actually start filming. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> That's why hey, I want that, that's why I was looking into buying a new lens that was going to give it a bit more space. <laughs> oh, word. oh that's awesome. Oh that's that's yeah. enough. Yeah. So um so so what actually inspired you to start it? Because yeah. you know, you, you you said how you started, but what inspired you to go, I know, I'll do this. Oh, I think it was uh, well uh, the fact just to try and make an international uh, mm. LARP community online because it was it's was kind of missing uh, yeah, back yeah. when uh, i started doing lab watch i think you guys have done LARP book uh, the lab book podcast longer uh ex- i'm not entirely sure i don't know uh, but mm-hmm. i'd like to think you have because yeah, <laughs> i remember I, I actually remember doing a bit of research when i started yeah. out uh, also because i did it as kind of a school project to begin with so okay yeah um and i remember you guys popping up uh, mm-hmm. think. and okay. then yeah it's it just there wasn't anything I mean uh, then, start, then I started uh, making some videos and back then it was called the, the Lazy LARPer yeah. and then after a few episodes that got really annoying uh, because yeah. everybody said why do you make everything yourself uh, and then you call yourself lazy because that makes no sense at all you yeah, right. like yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it, it's kind of got tiresome because back then um, I remember uh, LARPing.org posted one of my videos and then I had like this yeah. huge spike like in views on, on the videos um, and I was like oh the, I, I was like oh there's this website called LARPing.org and they're looking for people so then I mm. asked uh, Jordan who runs it and uh, yeah I could uh, make videos for them and and try and do some stuff, uh, uh, write some blog posts, and and then I started uh, doing that. Um, but I still posted the videos to Lab Fortress own YouTube channel, and then the community just sort of sprung up and, and grew out of there. And now it's uh, become sort of a thing that uh, you have all the tutorials, which yeah. comes out 
sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, then you have... Go on. Yeah, tutorials that take a long time to make. And then you have all the small uh, quick tip uh, and lab advices, which lab advices, which have sort of uh, sprung out from uh, all uh, the LARPers around the world, just yeah. posting uh, their own advices in the comment section and actually also starting to, 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 to contradict what I'm saying and what they're saying to each other because they're so, I mean, the, the LARP culture is so different like, and can be so different um, yeah. just across countries but also just in between and between genres and everything is it's a very big mess <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. um, it's 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 quite an eclectic group of people, isn't it? I mean, let, let's yeah. be honest. It's um, they're so so varied uh, with the abilities and uh, the cultures or what have you. Um, it's it's the one true thing that brings us all together. <laughs> it's like masking tape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, duct tape. <laughs> well, I think it's, it's quite what you say. I mean, um, it's a shame, isn't it, that there isn't a, a kind of like a, a uniform way that we could all talk as uh, as LARPers, you know, kind of united across the world. And it's one of the things I think that Europe feels that we, although the UK, you know, when it started doing LARP, um, really became kind of a central hub. And then you saw the films like Lord of the Rings really kind of bring it to the forefront. Um, that we still haven't really banded together. I mean, I'd never heard of any supermarket selling LARP. Arping kit, just sat there thinking, I need milk, cheese, coleslaw, orc uniform, Gandalf, and then I'll go and get some crisps. Honestly, um, that's, that's actually how it looked like. You would walk in, would buy milk and stuff like that, and then go, oh, yeah, I also need some green makeup for my orc. Oh, that's a new hammer. <laughs> oh, and that's a cheap gambit, son. Yes. So, yes. That's, basically, that's also where we got most of the LARP equipment when they started to, to go on sale, because you could basically buy a gambit son for five kronos, which is like less than one euro. Oh, that's cheap. That is cheap. That's yeah. very cheap. That's incredibly cheap, yes. If you... Yeah. If, if you'd only thought on and, and, and bought 400 or 500 of them, you know, you could have sold them for we, a lot more. We bought them for an entire regiment uh, in our own LARP, so our regiment could have, like, real camps and ons when they were walking around and, yeah, and yeah. marching. Yeah, this so, is so cool. The only bad thing was that when supermarkets start to make LARP weapons for cheap, they, they aren't exactly... Um, all up to standards. Yeah, uh, I've, I've, no. I've seen like uh, they had this huge uh, mace thingy, my dick. Uh, yeah. And I, I remember one brought it to a LARP, and I saw that make a dent in like a real uh, plate armor. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's like that's a... that's not no, not. I mean, in real life, fine, but in a LARP, no, you still would like to have your friend at the end of the day. Like to really live in Cumbrand, Stuart, but we still in the kind of you know uh, the nice part of Wales. Don't use maces to talk to each other. We use conversation. We may go to a pub and have a drink. Yeah, but you know, this is Denmark. Well, we're Vikings. I mean, yeah. um, <laughs> how, how else? How else are you going to get somebody's attention? Oi. Wumpf. You know, <laughs> I don't know. I think that was about in the valleys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Martin. There's a part of South Wales not that far from where you live, which is it's, it's where basically the old coal mining communities were. Uh, so it's called about, it's been basically nicknamed the valleys. Yeah. And the story, and they're just, they're, it is kind of where we make jokes about rough, dangerous people living. <laughs> Oh, okay, fair enough. So he's just basically that's criticized. Kind of like, that's kind of how we feel about Copenhagen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's great. Sorry, I'm from, sorry, I'm from the other part of the a whole strip of Wales, and I and uh, now Martin's done a whole city. <laughs> yeah. What's next? The world? <laughs> how to the make world. friends and influence people, surely. <laughs> Lot book style. <laughs> we did zero so, miles, and now we've criticised Copenhagen. Yeah, exactly. Well. Oh, oh, lovely okay. people who live you there, know, by the way. You know, where, when I log back onto my YouTube account, it's being subscriber just going to decline. Yeah. <laughs> everybody from everybody from from, from, from yeah, everyone from Copenhagen is going to be like, oh, really? And subscribe. Yes. And subscribe. <laughs> Wouldn't it be really bad if you found out that nearly all of your listenership came from Copenhagen, just as ours all came from Merthyr Tidville? Yeah. Oh, but, okay, so so just. 
co- people from Copenhagen feel really nice. <laughs> yeah. You win it out. Oh, hell. I've got, I've got to drive to North Wales tomorrow. Um, people in the valley, if you see me going through, I'm really sorry. Didn't mean it. Yeah, you're going to get lynched. <laughs> Honestly, you're never going to survive it. No. Um. <laughs> oh, my dear God. So, I yes. <laughs> So the rest so, of this is just apologising now. Is that how this works? <laughs> so you criticise them, and then let's they turn. Go, let's go out into the forest and uh, bring some swords. Then we can uh, deal yeah, with it. Yeah, we'll deal with it. <laughs> and we'll deal with it like You're real men. In a fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, let's let's just take it back a little. So, what are some of the? Th- I know. I tried to drag it back. It never bloody works. What, so, what are some of the other things then you've been doing with LARP Forge? Well, uh, to begin with, it started out like a how-to, and then it the advice, the advice thing. Um, okay. We also started to do some uh, live—I wouldn't say live coverage—but we started doing some uh, where we film mm-hmm. under LARPs, especially something like Conquest of Mitodea, because people keep asking us what is it like and i remember the first time we went there we, we, we were just going like, <laughs> <laughs> like for five days straight yeah, yeah. um and the, then the next year you come and the new people just walk around like and you just keep going like <sighs> yeah 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 newbies, God. yeah 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 tourist um oh, okay. but uh, and and then we've done some uh, interviews with a few people yeah done interview with Ian from having a LARP which is a yeah. l- which also have something to do with um, LARPCon that's the name which, that's that's which you had, they had last weekend yes which uh, you have there in the UK yeah. we do and I remember he talking very fondly about it we also could... just saw a picture I think of him in a wrestling costume I don't know yeah I saw that today it was yeah. in, in um... <laughs> Yes, I saw you in a picture of you in, in like wrestling cows. There's not much else today. Just, look, look, yeah. we've, Rob, yeah. Rob, Rob, but okay, Rob, Rob. We've all done it, mate. Right? We've all got the pictures. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, but he's a, he's a, yeah. Um, <laughs> and we, we did a small interview with uh, the guy, one of the people from uh, I think the head of plot from Conquest. Sorry, I'm, I, I talk a lot about Conquest. This is not really that important. <laughs> Um, but uh, <laughs> talking about uh, the yeah, just yeah. trying to tell people what LARP yeah. is and show what LARP is because a lot of times um, it's like uh, a lot of times it's like when people want to start LARP or get into LARP, but they don't really know what it is. They just have a, like a vague idea of some yeah. sort of what it could be. So yeah, that's true. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. 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 And, and 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 that is you know the the similar sort of thing that we're trying to do with LARP book itself you know try to make it as international as possible um, try to get people to submit stuff to us so they can tell the world you know about things that are going on etc and why we we kind of do this podcast as well to try and get more information out there and, and just to help people to find yeah. stuff and that's that's the reason you know for it that and the leather and 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 the bigismo obviously but apart from that. <laughs> yeah. Um, the- <laughs> and it's the whole, it's the whole lab community scene. Same with you. We're just finding labs. I was finding UK lab just not talking that much. So yeah, well, let's talk. <laughs> What yeah. happens when we talk? <laughs> yeah, I, because you know we we can bounce off so many ideas, you know, from different things. What, what what's worked for people, what hasn't worked for people, how they can change things, and if if we can bring that community together. <laughs> awesome and that's what we're that's what we're trying to do so so someone like yourself you know that that's putting out those videos uh, and what have you with information and tips and and etc uh it's all got to help at the end of the day isn't it yeah i hope so and you can likewise with yours by yeah. the way uh I, rem- I saw the podcast uh where you're talking with reno uh, yeah. Reno, and you were talking about uh, commuter punks at the end. About what, sorry? Commuter punks, yes. 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 We... I, I don't <laughs> yeah, know, like think... three, or four, two, three or four different ways. <laughs> well, I, I, I was... Yeah, tell, us, tell us how to pronounce that. Uh, commuter punk. See, that's easy for you to but, say. But, 
Yeah, but it's Norwegian. <laughs> but the, the tricky thing is there's actually four names for it. Okay. Because it, it changes between being in Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Denmark, and every time it changes name. <laughs> Uh, in Denmark, it's called Knudepunkt. It, may, it, it means the same thing in all the languages. So, yeah. okay. uh, you... the, I think the most weird one is in fin- Finland, where it's something like <laughs> I, I can't pronounce it. And, and, and that is the correct pronunciation, everybody. Um, yes. You hear, you hear it here? <laughs> but, but, but that's also... <laughs> but the uh, Knudepunkt is, is also kind of like... like uh, also international uh, mm. I'm guessing I mean it started yeah. out to be a thing between the Nordic countries I yeah think that's also why it changes between every country and uh, yeah. I don't know I, I think it's more I, I like to think there was kind of like a peace offering because there was a very big discussion back in the day with the whole uh, what's called Turco manifesto and all that stuff mm-hmm. and then oh you know what let's just make a conference and then that it walk from country to country okay. and then be friends and be friends <laughs> yeah. be friends and, and, and now it's kind of opening up that's yeah. kind of cool you know everybody everywhere is kind of talking about it and watching it mm. that's a, it, it's a really cool thing they have a lot of really good uh, cool things to say actually a lot, mm. of, a lot of good points yeah, yeah. I still haven't caught up on the book and the all the videos yet, but it, I got oh. a feeling there's a lot just stuff going on. Me, oh, yeah. me neither. I think I wouldn't have. Uh, I was, I was so lucky. I uh, uh, back when I was starting LARPing, they had like a, a small uh, what's called a competition where you could win a book. That's that's when they still printed the book, uh, and you could buy it. I don't think you can do that anymore. Right. Um, I and I was. the PDF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, actually, I I won the competition, so I actually got the book, <laughs> oh, and well I done. have it over on the shelf, and I have tried to read it many times. <laughs> and it's, it's untried. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, Did you actually get to this year's or to any of the? Con- con- no, it's like every time it comes around, every every year I hear about it again, and be like, yes, I should go this year, and then I'll be like. It's not in Denmark this year, so I'll wait till next year and then yeah, yeah. wait. It's not in Denmark next year. It's going to be in Denmark in three years. I can wait three years. <laughs> and then it comes around to Denmark and I'll be like, it'll be here in four years again. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, no, unfortunately, I actually wanted to go because I, I'm, getting to, uh, I'm getting to the point where I actually know people that are going to the conference. <laughs> And I'm also, I've actually, uh, I think uh, my old tutor from my uh, uh, education also, she was a speaker. Uh, I oh, found wow. out she was a LARPer uh, afterwards when, uh, after I stopped and I was like, wait, she was a LARPer? <laughs> what? And now she's speaking at Kudabung? At Kudabung? No, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's bonkers, What's isn't it? What's wrong with the world? Yeah, I mean, I, I, this this is this is kind of the the, the problem. I, I think we start wearing like like badges, you know. I I am a larper. Ask me about yeah. larping, you know. Yeah. Hello, my name is Stuart. Ask me about larping. Um, <laughs> but talk all day about larping. You yeah. all say Stuart. <laughs> Naturally, <laughs> although that would get confusing at a conference. A conference that called Stuart. Stuart, go over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stuart, uh, and, Stuart. and it's and Stuart coming up to the stage. <laughs> <laughs> and Stuart's won the competition. Yay! You know, so, uh, uh, that should be a lap. That would be so funny. <laughs> the Stuart lap. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's not Luke, okay, by the way. I would say, Luke, are we losing you? Yeah. <laughs> Luke? It's not something we said, is it? Either either Luke? that, or he's doing the best mannequin challenge ever. Ever. <laughs> or oh, we're going to lose him any any second. I can guarantee it. Which is which? Or it's crazy because his wife can use that computer all day long doing Skype, etc. Yada yada yada, without a problem. Luke gets on it. Stops working. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, there we go. Right, oh, so. Is that, is that sound from Luke? <laughs> if it was. Luke, Luke. I, I, I am here. I don't know. Can you hear me? Well, you're kind of coming in and out of the thing. Yeah. Very far away. It's, you can you hear me? Luke? No. Knock, knock once for yes and twice for no. 
It's 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 seriously it's you. It's not the computer. It is you. We've now di- we've now discovered because because Becky uses it all day without a problem. It's just you. Can't you can't you just fetch Becky and then put her in? Yeah, why you It is just just Luke. So. We'll 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 carry on regardless. Oh, it's yeah. starting to become a running theme, so we may as well just continue with it. <laughs> um, oh. So so what's what's next? What's next for LARP Forge then? Go on, go on. Right now, it's uh, me trying to get a schedule down. <laughs> but uh, it's hard to do videos when you have a just got a job. Uh, mm. Yeah, and um, uh, also have spare time, which you also need. Uh, yeah, apparently. there he goes. Bye, Luke. God. <laughs> uh, Bye, Luke. But but the next thing for Love Force, I actually hope uh, the next thing is that we probably also going to start a podcast. Ooh, cool. Which I'm hoping we may, will maybe. We could invite some of you people, you guys, over on our podcast. Yeah, we'd be, we'd be delighted to. We'd love to. Yeah, we'd be <laughs> delighted to. We'd be delighted yeah. to. We'd be often delighted, yeah. <laughs> so, so anyway, anyway, Luke, we have, we have, uh, we've made a decision. We've come to a decision, mate. It's not the computer because Becky uses it all day. It's you. So we need to go fetch Becky. Yeah. <laughs> go fetch Becky. The computer will work. <laughs> Okay, I'm, 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 that's so annoying with the internet is bad like that go and get your laptop just go and get your laptop because that worked fine last time yeah. get, look we, we, we know you're there look, go get a laptop <laughs> so we'll carry on regardless I don't know I don't know what he does to that computer honestly God. <laughs> um, right so uh, yeah, so finding... Fi- <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Eventually got the two minutes. And he's off. <laughs> um, the... Okay. So that's... Yeah, it, the hool, the hool, finding time, etc. Yeah, we, we, you know, completely understand that. Um, yeah. we, we've all got jobs uh, or run businesses and, and what have you. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. we completely agree on that one. But... You know, if you want to do it, it's amazing. You find the time. You you know, you put off playing that game, or you do whatever, and you go, no, no, I've got to do that instead. And 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 that's that's the way to hunker down and get it done. Um, but as far as the podcast goes, yeah, no problem. Uh, any, all of us, including Luke, eventually, maybe, you know, we can we can all all be on your podcast and what have you. And if you need help on how to set it up and how to run it, give me a shout. Yeah. Oh, uh, that would be I'm that would be really cool. I know than... Reno is also uh, he's also on for the podcast when 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 we finally get to do it. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I am I'm, I'm I'm more than happy to help you out in that way. And with my track record, it would be like in maybe half a year. <laughs> <laughs> I've been promising I'm an update on the Lapbook website for like more than half a year. So yeah. I hope it's coming. It is coming. In my head, but my head looks beautiful. There's also a website for Lab Fortune. It's I've been reluctant to tell people because I've actually I'm, I'm technically a web designer by trade, <laughs> um, but it looks I, like that. I'm glad my volume was down there, <laughs> and I'm glad I wasn't drinking tea. Uh. <laughs> Um, oh, fair but uh, I hope uh, you you were mentioning. I, I, I forgot your name now. Stuart. Which one of us? He's Stuart. Stuart. Why am I not uh, Stuart? You all call Stuart. Um, <laughs> yeah, Stuart. <laughs> so um, Stuart and Rob. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yes. Cool. Uh, Stuart and Rob. Um, you were talking about uh, what's next for Lark Forge. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually hoping that we can go and uh, uh, first of all, I'm hoping that more people kind of want to maybe join in and make some videos for LARP Forge. Yeah. Ooh. So it's not only me. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping to... Uh, I know that uh, some of the other people that's helped me out in the past uh, also want to do it, but they don't really have time, especially because now one of them just got dad for the second time, just became dad for the second time. Oh, and yeah. Okay, yeah. has no time at all there. Yeah, oh. yeah. No. Uh, and the other one is uh, really busy with job and everything, so... Mm. Uh, but it would be nice. I mean, something with like uh, all the small quick tip and advice. It'd be really cool if people could kind of other LARPers out there would record them maybe and just pass 
Yeah, that's, that's, a, really, that's a really cool idea. Get everybody to record their advice and pass it in and... Yeah, and then, then show it off because it, it sometimes... Sorry. Sometimes gets a little reductant uh, or a little boring just being me, just sitting there like... But, but it's like only this thing and I might not know what you're talking about, especially if it's like people make like... Uh, what's called short codes or something like where they shorten a word yeah. down and I have yeah. no clue what they're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and it's I, really, really. I all the time. Yeah, and it's and it's especially it's uh, really irritating when it's actually a LARP term you're supposed to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember uh, somebody said sent like uh, something like an OOT jacket, and I thought it was like a brand name or something, but that means uh, no OOC. Jacket. Yeah, see jacket, yeah. Yeah, and I, I thought it was like a brand name, and it means out of character. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah well, yeah, well, which is really weird because, uh, which is again like a cultural thing because here uh, I used to call it, um, or I'm used to calling it uh, out uh, off game and okay. uh, in game and not out of character in character. Yeah, so it's just, there's no two countries or even no two, even in a country, things like really different. I mean, we were always getting into trouble because. We play in some systems that do things in a certain way, and you go into another system. No, you cannot do that. That is dangerous. That, that is wrong. Mm. Well, yeah, I've been doing that. And, and there was over there, and it's great. Yeah, and there was and there was terminology, wasn't there as well, Rob? You know, when we went to to Klaus's game, um, there was oh, certain, yeah. certain ter- terminology that was coming up that we we had to ask. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know. okay, can I ask what it is? Maybe I I'm very curious right now. If you remember it, of course. Okay. Yeah, go on. It's just, yeah, this is when we went to Fairweather Manor. Yeah. There were lots of talks about levels of immersion, which in a UK game is a, 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 UK games are not ha- not so much high or low immersion. Uh, they're they're well, some are very high, some are very low, some are very mixed. But you tend not to talk about it. It just happens. It's mm. the game is how the game is. <laughs> So some of the people, I can't remember from the words now, some of the phrases now, but it's when you're talking about that in that like more bleed or something, yeah, like, like bleed, yeah, yeah, bleed and stuff. Which you, you never talk about much in the UK. In fact, I've, I'd, I'd never heard of it. Heard about it. I mean, anybody, anybody that's lapped with me in 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 the UK in in all the different styles, you know, that that, that I've done, uh, know that I'm constant. I'm constantly in and out of me character, constantly. You know, do it. Do but then that's a style. Of, that's a style of game. Some games is very sort of mixed. Uh, what called mixed, mixed. Um, sort of, mixed immersion. Mixed immersion. So it doesn't matter so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some games are very high immersion, so it doesn't matter. Some games are very, very low immersion, so you know, nobody really minds so much. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's a very different culture, almost. Very much. Uh, so. It's funny that you you mentioned uh, when it's the immersion thing because I remember uh, very clearly from. Um, Again, when we went to Conquest, yeah, um, I remember uh, because some people some people see it as like this big LARP festival, yeah, okay, uh, where you can go and drink and uh, fight with foam swords, yeah, yeah, and wear LARP costume, which is mm, kind of maybe what it is, but not really. Uh, anyway, yeah, um, because it's it's what it's kind of what it's be. It's kind of what is what it became, and they're moving away from that. Very, they're right. really good at moving away from. Let me just point it out. So for people that want to go and party and have that, you can still do that. But the people that want to go LARP, you can still do that. Uh, and I remember when we came, uh, one of the I'm people just that was. I'm really sorry. I just got pop away for two minutes, but please carry on. I'll catch yeah, it yeah. now. No worries. Sure. Um, I remember when uh, when we came there for the first year, I think, um, and there was. Uh, Oh, hey! There he is. <laughs> hey, how you doing? All right. Nice Sorry, to see. it wasn't what I thought it was. No, no, no. It's just you. We have, we have. <laughs> hey. Sorry, it wasn't what I thought it was. Hang on, I'm going to have to turn this off because I was uh, sorry. There you go. There you go. I'm back. Yeah. So, so we've so we we've come with, up with a, a a couple of decisions, Luke. Um, n- right. uh, number one, it's not the computer; yeah. it's you because Becky uses it all day without any problem. Uh, and the yeah. second, and the second executive decision, you just go straight to your laptop, right? Forget your computer. Oh. I tell you, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm sick and tired of this bloody thing. Because um, <laughs> I just, I, th- I honestly, I genuinely thought we'd had it. I yeah. genuinely got it. And it just, um, it just degraded as time went on. 
I have no idea. I have no idea. See, Rob's died since yeah. I actually. Yeah, right. Rob, uh, uh, Rob has, <clears throat> Rob has actually uh, been, you know, uh, kidnapped by aliens since since yeah. he's been off, yeah. mate. So. Um... Don't the roll day. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> don't worry. I'm trying to set this camera because I've used the uh, HD camera. Yeah, yeah. In order, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put it somewhere a little bit more stable so that I can, uh, you know, yeah. carry on and hopefully. If only you had a table to put it on. Oh, don't. You see, the thing is, you know, I do training and teaching every single day. I never have this problem. One bloody thing of LARP book. I'm all over the place. (laughs) (laughs) What? what, And the funniest thing for us right now, all we can see is this. (laughs) (laughs) Don't. Honestly, I just did a silly like five minutes ago. Trying to bloody well get this thing working. Um... Oh, come on, it's not that funny. <laughs> I mean, granted, it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So, 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 in. so there you go, everybody. All right, uh, this is this is why we need your Patreon money, so we can we can help Luke, you know, <laughs> get a better computer or something to actually, you know, so, so we can look even slightly semi-professional. Yeah. You know what? If we Look, survive one podcast, then it, all that money would be worth it. Yeah. Look, remember <laughs> to feed the hamster. Yeah. yeah. Oh, damn, honestly, I'm going to turn that bloody computer off. I'm sick of it now. Um, <laughs> there you go. Nah. Got a nice Tony Vio laptop that I can go on now. <laughs> <laughs> You know so, what it is, don't you, Luke? That no, computer, that, would tell that's, me. It, it's Becky's computer now. It only works for Becky. Oh, God, yes. really? Yes, I'm afraid so. It's mm-hmm. it's decided... I'm afraid, I, I'm afraid, it's bonded to her, Luke. Yeah, it's decided who, think, who it's owner. I think Becky's got a button. It's like a little remote control, isn't it? And like about halfway through, she's got on board now. Boop. And then yeah. <laughs> go like, go like, right, that, that, that should be about enough time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so what did you miss? <laughs> um, Rob disappeared. Um, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, Ma- I was something interesting, you, Martin, but uh, my apologies. Yeah. Oh no. Fair enough. <laughs> my my was just talking about um, the, uh, the the well the, the different emotional level uh, levels and what have you uh, oh, yeah. in in in. What was the conquest? Conquest. There you go. It was. It was a conquest. Every. Uh, the thing was that the first time we came, uh, the the camp coordinator, uh, that kind of assigns where you're supposed to uh, put your tents up and everything, comes over to us and says, "Hello, uh, I'm. My name's this and this. And uh, who are you guys? Uh, we are. We are these people. And uh, okay. So how much uh, are you here to party or here to LARP? Are you somewhere in the middle? Okay. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, oh, wait, what? I thought we were coming to a LARP. Yeah. <laughs> but, but apparently, um, the way they used, uh, uh, the way they did it was they had like the, the really, the people that went in like for high immersion and being like uh, in character like 24 yeah, 7. Yeah. They were placed really out front. Uh, mm, and then okay. the people that were. They wanted to LARP, they wanted to fight, but they were they also wanted to have like a good time and be a little laid back and everything. They were kind of in the middle. And then okay. you would have all the, the drunk party people with hangovers and everything in the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um well, you really take that. That's, that's wonderful. That's, that's really brilliant. I would um, say that's, also that's... because you, you kind of you did you you weren't um uh, you weren't like uh, so disturbed by the, all the drunk people singing because yeah. they were actually a little far away. <laughs> Um, but I don't know if they do it anymore like this, uh, but they used to do it like that. But then again, that was kind of like maybe because the camp we were in were mainly filled out with Danish people. So <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of Danish you people. Can, you, can, you, you, you can hear the unsubscribes happening already. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, Duncan and Hagen, yeah. we've just got their families. You've now done nearly all of Norway and the associated countries. Uh, and, yeah, I think that's great. I mean, you know, thanks. We only had three listeners anyway, but now we've killed all those off as well. Well, it seems to me to say that when we were, when we were at the, the affair with the manor, when the game ended, we went to the uh, after party. 
mm. and I ended up getting involved in, in drinking with some Danes. I was stupid oh. next morning wondering, where's Rob? He's normally up early, and Bob was going, oh, yeah. Mo- is it morning? Oh. See, okay. Stewie, Stewie was sensible. Stewie doesn't drink anyway, but Stewie was sensible. <laughs> Stewie also went to bed at, at a relatively sensible sort of half 12 uh, type thing. Rob, however, <laughs> when I left him, was still doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, never, <clears throat> never drink with Danes. No, <laughs> you have to hear this. One, yes. uh, a, a friend of mine, uh, Michael, who plays uh, Duck, uh, he's on Lot Forge and everything, mm-hmm. um, and also in the Lot Group. He plays like this uh, cynical doctor, but he's also a real actor. And I remember uh, they told a story where they were down in uh, the Viking reenactors, and then there was some uh, other there also which were uh, russians i'm pretty sure and yeah. they uh, they were drinking vodka of course of course <laughs> of course and they were like yeah of course yeah you want something to drink yes yeah, so, or nah. no no yeah, yeah. he's like yeah sure let, let's uh, let's uh, make a small drinking game out of this but i'm drinking whiskey <laughs> 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 he takes out the whiskey bottle <laughs> and just uh, pr- the story goes that the russians uh, <laughs> They weren't feeling that great. <laughs> but he was fine. He yeah. was fine. <laughs> fine. Luke, we can't hear you. I can't hear you. God can't hear you. It. All I can do is... <laughs> You're just goldfishing it. Write, <laughs> <laughs> find some paper, write. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, over the concentration. <laughs> yeah. mm. <laughs> I've been kidnapped. Uh. God, look at this. That's the concentration face, isn't it? The concentration oh face of a man demented. <laughs> If I can ask you guys and, a question. And a camera mic, Luke. Cam mic. Not settings. Cam mic. Yes, Martin, you carry, you carry on. Sorry. <laughs> Turn it off and on. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, Martin, please carry on. <laughs> it's all right. We need, the, we need some sound. <laughs> we need his voice. <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> Cam Mike. Cam Mike. <laughs> you are, oh, oh, hang on. If Are you using that microphone that, that I give you? Because if, if you are, don't forget, it's got a mute button on it. Anybody listening to the audio podcast, I'm sorry, but this is Sarah. You have to go watch the video at some point. Everybody, and, if you listen to the Adam, audio, Adam, round about the 45 minute mark. Oh, God, time. Switch, go to YouTube and switch to the video. Adam, round about the 45 minute mark because it's 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 comedy gold, comedy gold, everybody. <laughs> Hello, this is IT support. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> and the award to best mime black podcast goes to <laughs> Luke Pitt. <laughs> like that was that was Wait, me. Wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't imagine why we do this properly. Um, so <laughs> it, it would be it would be fantastic to have one. You know, just. <laughs> have you looked at the comments on uh, on Facebook right now? No. <laughs> and there's I, just one. I was hoping Rob was monitoring that because I can't. <laughs> I have been monitoring that. It's been fairly quiet so far today. Oh, hang on, I think someone might come in. And the, the just came one really nice one in. Yeah, some of you coming in. <laughs> oh, Klaus. <laughs> Thank you. We love you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like teachers, teachers, yeah, they're coming in. They've been coming in good now. It's really, yeah. yes, charades, yes, yes charades. Oh yeah, charades, yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lassie. Charades. 
what but I have to ask, what does the raid actually do? What, what is it actually? <laughs> Fudge Packer, was that it? Uh. <laughs> okay, so for everybody on Facebook now, we are waiting for you to type in translations for what Luke is saying. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, if it you, is. It is now. If you can, if you can read it, please type in that. Please type that in the comments for us, it is, it, and we will read them out. It is now. It is now an episode of bad, bad lip reading. <laughs> Go. So, who, who provides the sound? And uh, we need some lip readers to <laughs> yeah. put some sound. To. I tell you what, look, if uh, Becky can do it. Oh, hang on. Oh. <laughs> No. You still have to go up the top of the page, mic cam, M I C cam, and select your bloody microphone and cam. Yeah, even Karen knows that. I mean, come on. <laughs> okay, and we have. Oh, yes. No, you literally. <laughs> Comedy guy. Does he not got his, his microphone on? No, his computer died again. Oh, right. Right, so he's got on the laptop. Oh, what about now? There he is! Yay! 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 <laughs> <laughs> that well, only, that wrong, right? That only took 20 minutes. That's not bad. Oh, <laughs> 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 I'd just like to thank everyone on Facebook for all their support. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of sad nobody uh, nobody wrote anything for you. <laughs> oh, really? I, 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 no one else is watching other than, other than my mother, so we're all right. Klaus is watching. Nothing else can break. Klaus is watching. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It's like, he's, it's like he last say, he says, I make this work. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Oh, right. So, yes. So, okay. anyway, we were on about immersion and what have you at... <laughs> Oh, I've been hearing go. everything you've been saying. It's just I couldn't talk. It just decided to stop. Oh dear! Seriously, mate. Like Comedy gold. Comedy gold. That's all I can say. Uh, well, it made me laugh anyway. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Was there anything else you wanted to ask about? <laughs> Look, is there anything you were trying to say that you want to say now? How many presenters does it take to get everyone onto a full uh, podcast? The answer is more than three. (laughs) More than two computers (laughs) each. (laughs) Uh (laughs) I was going to say, uh, where next for you then? What's going to happen next? I mean, you've got Lark Forge, you've started off, there's there's success there. There's obviously something there, isn't there? Where do you see yourself in a couple of years? And, you know, what can we do to maybe assist? I I suppose we we try and advertise as much as we can, you know? um, I'm I'm hoping for that in the future, Mm -hmm. there's extra... Wait, not like this. Uh... Sorry, I was I, I was confused. I was turning off and off my own sound. I don't know what well, I was don't doing. Don't start with that. Haven't we had enough? <laughs> <laughs> um, the thing I was going to say was uh, one of the things I was actually uh, hoping, and I'm hoping that's going to be in the future, is uh, actually make this kind of global uh, platform thing about it or a connection um, mm. between large networks uh, cross cross countries and yeah. also like uh, what what would you call it like um teamwork between some fa- some of the the web shows uh, like yeah. uh, larp podcast larp forge uh, but also something like uh, a, a collaboration for uh, all the, the other YouTubers, Lark Girl and Momo O'Brien, and uh, oh, yeah. uh, blog yeah. pages like Larping.org and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. all that stuff, and, and oh, kind of get it, you uh, kind of get it out to a new generation because a lot of people actually don't know about uh, something like uh, Google Punk or yeah. Uh, all the other cons or, or just LARPs uh, in general because every time I, I feel like every time I, I meet new LARPers and I, I talk with them also old LARPers uh, and I, I talk about some of these things and they just go like what, what are you talking about yeah 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 there's only like this LARP is like this one thing we have the forest out here yeah and you're talking about something in Germany and in Poland on a castle and uh, something in French that's in Canada. And yeah. Then yeah, now yeah. there are these weird people in the UK sitting and talking uh, 
on the internet. I yeah. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, we have been called worse. Um, so you are looking literally for LARP, the next generation. <laughs> These are exactly. the voyages of the, of the, <laughs> of the Starship LARP book. It's 10 year mission to explore strange new LARPs, go to other countries and have a good oh, that time. Actually, that actually sounds pretty lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be really nice. Can we, can we do that, please? Yes. And, and, thank, and thank you, Dennis. We are trying to... We, <laughs> I do like what we're doing. <laughs> oh, hey, that's Dennis from uh, yeah, LARP Watch. Yeah, hello, Dennis from LARP Dennis Watch. Dennis from LARP Hello, Dennis from LARP Watch. Hello, I'm Dennis. A, I'm, I'm amazed. I'm amazed, actually, uh, by, uh, <laughs> you know, and excuse my ignorance here, uh, with, you know, a lot of you being from, from the different countries, but having very, you know, uh, English-sounding names. What do you What do you mean, Martin? You have Dan- you you of course have uh, you have Scandinavian sounding names like well, Stuart. St- <laughs> <laughs> That's English. It's the English spelling as well, unfortunately, not the Scottish spell- spelling. But 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 see, that's like uh, you were called Dan, right? No, but I have to point in the right direction. Where no, the- you got Rob, Luke. Rob, Luke. I can't remember anything. Okay, it's easy. It's easy. easy. Luke, no hair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you for this? Long hair. So Rob stole Luke's hair, yeah. and Stuart was looking. Yeah, Stuart just got the leftovers, like all, all the grey bits. Oh, yeah, fair. <laughs> you were stealing the last yeah. part. You yeah, look, that. you still have a lot of grey hair. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> He's younger than me, by the way. <laughs> Luke, I mean, Luke, you still have all the... Yeah, you have, you have better beard. Yeah, the others don't. Yeah, so. yeah. They look. Until I was called something by one of my clients, and I actually stopped with my Viking beard and aspirations to have a bit of a goatee going on. And they said, "Look, I look like a chubby Gary Glitter." We've gotten into quite a lot of trouble very recently. Do some research, and you'll find out who he is. Then you'll realise why I shaved. Yeah, I can't imagine why. <laughs> Hello, Lassie. <laughs> I, I, hello. I don't see it personally. Hello. <laughs> I don't see it personally, Luke. I'll, I'll be honest with you. No. Honestly. <laughs> so, um, should we should we crack on a, a, a little bit? But 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 yes, man, I completely agree. Right, let's let's collaborate. So, That's what we've so always I wanted to do. Talk, you know, know with podcasters. Yeah, bloggers together. That's 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 what we've always wanted to do. That's what we've always you know aspired to yeah. do uh, with this, is the whole collaboration with every with everybody and and get get the word out there that that LARPs are cool. Um, but I think yeah, LARPs are cool. But I think we should we we should move on a little bit. We've already been fifty odd minutes. Yeah, let's let's. Uh... <laughs> 25 of that was getting Luke back on, but apart from that, you know... Oh, uh... don't start. We know this is a weekly... Account. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Go on. Christian has just chimed in. Christian, yeah, you, w- w- yes, we remember. Christian, just reminding us who conquered the UK back in, back, back in the 900s. And the UK subscribers just go down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Yes, yes. We, no, no, we, no, no, we, no. We know the Vikings invaded and conquered most of the UK. They didn't conquer Wales. <laughs> but who wants to conquer Wales? Oh, oh. <laughs> no. You can't do all your own country and then half of ours as well. Come on. <laughs> Come on, ours was ours was shit back then. There was much <laughs> like there was a big there, there wasn't anything. There was there was just big borg or what I call it like swampland or something. I mean that, that there's no mountains in Denmark, but there's a heck of a lot of uh, of just spear, not, not not I mean like there's a heck of a lot of there was a heck of a lot of forests and bogs and that's could, that's why they didn't invade Wales. They came to Wales, they went, what the shit is that? That? <laughs> no, we're not going at that. <laughs> and you want us to claim what? Because <laughs> we're just mountains. We're just mountains everywhere. <laughs> so, right, let's let's move on to the... Lassie says bum, by the way. <laughs> let's let, let's yeah, move on. Classic. Let's move on to the UK LARP Awards, shall we, very quickly. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, so on last weekend, we had the UK LARP Awards. Yeah. 
been quite a thing now. I've been running about four years, five years. Yeah, something like that, I've yeah. Really regular, which is fantastic. And uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get there this year, but uh, there are, we do have the awards. Yeah, the, the, the winners the winners of, of the awards. It's a little bit of a list, so I reckon that uh, the way we do this, uh, do you have access to the uh, list, Luke? to the notes no but thanks for asking fine not a problem uh right so um do you, do you want me just to rattle them off rob what, what's gonna happen to you no yeah you so everybody stand by luke's gonna rattle off the uk lab awards <laughs> uh, no they're also on, they're also yeah. on the lab.com website yeah. right now if you want to read them yourself go on let's go go for them right okay then so here they are in no particular order just the way it was on the website um so the winners are right so the player run sanctioned event was do not go gently uh, slayers larp club system of the year union at nottingham uni player of the year was rosie woolly well done rosie well done for that and sir, uh, can, can i just interrupt you for one moment please go on we're, we're about to lose another country uh, we? Dennis had just mentioned that the only people who wanted Wales was the french oh and the yeah. french people go why yeah. Why would he bring the French into this? <laughs> Why would anyone bring the French into anything? Oops, sorry. There's no right. need for that, Dennis. Absolutely no need. We don't even make good onions or wine. Anymore. Anymore. Or anything. <laughs> right, anyway. Back to the you. Yes. <laughs> but... Bard of the Year is Dread Roberts. That can't be his real name. Uh, <laughs> small. What would it be his real oh, name? That would be so, so awesome. Yeah. If What's your name? <laughs> Dread. Dread. <laughs> <laughs> but if it is, I apologise. Um, and you can get that changed uh, at your local council. So, uh, small LARP of the Year was Hades. <laughs> Medium LARP of the Year was Future's End. Now, large LARP of the Year was to Curious pastimes yay so well done for all all of the team and crew there uh, at curious pastimes uh, of course emmy lou is uh, every now and then when she comes on uh, also uh, <laughs> one of our guest presenters uh, i apologize um, you know, okay. and, oh, and apparently Stu, I'm going to give you another interruption. Apparently, Dennis is yes. just that cruel. And Christian says, Sacre bleu. Sacre bleu. Yeah. Um, family of the event, uh, family event of the year goes to Empire. Well done, Empire. I think my daughter yeah. goes to that one, actually. Um, um, yeah, good family game, yep. Yeah. Uh, grassroots system of the year goes to Future's End. Well done, Future's End. New LARP of the year goes before the end. There's a few ends. Um, <laughs> coming up here. Big thing to be it is <laughs> uh, the best LARP producer of foam latex weapons is Saxon of Violence. What an awesome name! Uh, cool That's name, brilliant, love it. Uh, also, a cool kit. I've used some of their stuff at Ravens Tales, and it is really high quality. Oh, okay, excellent. That's probably why they won the award. Then, uh, LARP uh, producer in leather. Uh, oh. Dark Blade. Well done, Dark Blade. Is that, is that Blade. leather? I have no idea, but either one. Uh, well done to Dark Blade. They've been around for some time now. Uh, LARP producer, uh, the costume uh, category goes to There's No Way I Can Say That Properly. Uh, Kreif- oh, Kraft- Kraftigan. 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 Sorry if we've butchered that, but... Get a more sensible name. Uh, LARP Caterer of the Year uh, goes to Warden's Catering from what I'm assuming is the game Eid 2 or Pad (laughs) 2. So well well done to Warden's Catering. Uh, Creature Costume of the Year. And I'm going to have to look this up because it sounds freaking awesome. Uh, Verdigris Mind Forged Manacles. I think the wife's got a pair of them. Uh, Clockwork Firebird Designs. So well done to them. Well done to them. <laughs> um, online Retailer of the Year. Our very own, our very wonderful Jamie at LARP in. Well done, well done to Jamie and the girls. Uh, I know they do a fantastic job. So congratulations to you. Um, in field retailer of the year, and I'm sure it's not the field that they're in, but rather they go into a field, is Das Shop. 
See, I could do German. Simple. Um, <laughs> NPC of the year goes to, and I'm not sure whether or not this was a typo on the site, whether or not it's actually Tin King or Tim King. So I'm going to go with no, Tin King whilst on the thing. Tin, because I think you interviewed her at a, a Gloucestershire. No, no, no. And no, it's, it's not. Uh, not one. I don't think so. I don't think so. I should. Could be wrong, though. Could be, you know, I could be wrong. I probably am. So Tin King for strategy. Um, she won that. He won that. Whoever won that. Uh, event crew member of the year goes to Charlotte Piri. Uh, well done, Charlotte. Uh, yeah, main more than total lap crew because it's a hard job. Yeah, mainstream event goes to Nightmare Live and touring production apparently. <laughs> so, uh, and then some uh, other little honourable mentions or other little categories. The unsung hero goes to Andrew Jackson. Well done, Andrew, for being the unsung hero. Not quite sure how you get that one. Uh, lifetime Achievement goes to Ian Andrews. Well done, Ian. Overall best LARP of the year goes again to Curious Pastimes. Uh, poker Player goes to Mark <laughs> Annabel. An, 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 Annabel, I think. Yeah, Annabel. Um, we'll go with Annabel. that. Or enable uh, Mark Annable, that'll do. Um, and the combat tournament, it seems, was run by Neil Pryor. So well done to well done. Neil. Well done, Neil. So okay, I'm just, got, just got to try and Klaus has just come back in. Yeah. Um, and Klaus has decided just he just really wants to be to go to see some UK apps again. Yeah, Klaus, it's a good idea. Oh, and partly, Martin, you're evil. Yes, I know. At least you're honest. <laughs> okay, yeah. At least you're honest, mate. Uh, you know. <laughs> so congratulations to everybody that won at this year's UK LARP Awards. Um, we tip our hats to you, etc. Uh, you don't get anything from us other than a... Well done. Uh, <laughs> but you never know. One year we might actually host the UK LARP Awards and we'll be giving them out. We have put that out to them several times now. Just say Um... <laughs> <laughs> Ian's not that stupid. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There you go. Like, there's no way I'm having those. No, because <laughs> it, it'll. By the but by the way by the way, Luke, sorry, Luke. I have to interrupt you. Out of sheer comedy moments again, your system has decided to not have sound. We can't hear a word you're saying. <laughs> oh no! Again. Charades <laughs> again. Even I can lip read that. <laughs> So again, we need some uh, bring some suggestions in the comments or what. Yeah, yeah, but, you know. Uh, uh, in Luke first, please in the ahead. comments below, what what Luke is saying right now, I know he's saying. Like, nee, 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 nee. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and, and Christian, yeah, I, I like it. Just go for Tin King. It is Tin King. Yeah, I don't know. No, nope. Christian says, imagine a man sitting on a phone made of tin. <laughs> small men made of tin. Bow before me, small tin men. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh Christian! See, seriously, I'm 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 just going to come up to your place, mate. I'm going to set you up just a machine, just for doing this, and you're not going to touch it. All right, other than for LARP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's let's move on then to um to uh, the the events very quickly. And Martin, thank oh, you very okay. much for for sticking with us, <laughs> literally sticking funny. with um, us. Well, of course, yeah. Also, not in the embarrassing way it's it's also just quite you, have, you guys are quite nice oh so thanks, I'm sorry mate. sorry about the sound i'm sitting next to the kitchen and uh, there's a kettle going on no that's oh, fine curry. Oh, yeah, that's fine mate you 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 go for that curry i don't believe no, curry is always good mm. <laughs> uh, uh, but you know, uh, unbelievably, it became the uh, the uh, 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 national the national dish of UK. Curry is eaten more in this country than any other meal. Curry. Hmm. Okay. It's now one of our national foods. Yeah. It's now one I of our national foods. Uh, okay. Yes, Dennis, you're right about the frustration on Luke's face. <laughs> <laughs> Cam, Mike, Cam. <laughs> Have you hit a mute button somewhere on your headset? Anything? <laughs> Have you unplugged your headset and plugged it back in? God, this is absolutely... <laughs> <laughs> <Two words. laughs> 
second one off. Um. I'm I'm looking at the comments now and <laughs> I'm looking at the comments now and it's actually it's actually quite funny because most of these people are actually lark wits. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so while uh, while Luke's trying to sort himself out, let, let's let, let's do a, a, a quick plug for an event that's coming up. I don't know. Even I can lip read what is wrong with this, and and I have no idea what's wrong with this. <laughs> yep, he's now connecting for a second. Yeah, two of them. <laughs> Holy shit! It's multiplying. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, yes, the the, the way will. <laughs> We'll we'll wait. You know, back to work. Back to work. That's safer. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, that's even safer. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, seriously, it's it, comedy gold. The man can't even put paper in a printer for guys try six. You know what I mean? Right. Anyway, yeah. let's let's talk about. <laughs> oh, it's like, you know, Sam Rice. Thanks for making this note. Yeah, Sam Rice says lap com was cracking. Oh, good. We're going to be there next year, most likely. Uh, if I, if I have my way with a stall as well, I'm just wandering around recording everyone. He keeps asking me everywhere. I go like. Uh... I do, but that means we got to get stuff together. And whatever, you, uh, <laughs> right? So let's let's talk about um, conscience. Conscience. Right. So it's a LARP inspired by the TV series Westworld, about the dawn of artificial consciousness and the moral implications of those innovations for all involved. Now then, this does sound fantastic. Sign me up. I'm not really a Western sort of guy. I'll be honest. Um, however, I did love Westworld. Um, <laughs> what an awesome series. Uh, but if you want to uh, sign up, it will open on the 15th of March at tw uh, 2100 uh, Central Eastern Time. So whatever yep. that is in GMT, no idea. And we'll close on the 31st of March, 2017. Uh, for more information, I have no idea if it works. You need to speak, Luke. Yeah. Ooh, I'm but, but do you know where? Do you know where it's where this lap is set? No. The same part of Spain where Sergio Leone made made all his films. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So it's like that's it's with the bad and the ugly, and yeah, a few dollars more on those. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Excellent. Right, so for, for more information, just go to the website conscience.notonlylarp.com yep. forward slash. We'll, we, we will put the link up, all right, so you can actually get to it and what have you. Um, and, and have a little look at that and see whether or not you go. And, and if it is in those locations, awesome. So we yeah, got I'm just looking at the pictures now, and I actually, I think I recognize some of them from the films. It's like, oh, whoa. Cool. <laughs> Um, right, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll... <laughs> sorry, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Martin, please tell Dennis to come on more. Come to come on, please. Uh, okay, Luke says I'm back with Dennis. There, there seems to be a flaw in the matrix for Luke. <laughs> uh, better call Nevo. <laughs> <laughs> If you could just ask him, I'm pretty sure he would be very glad to come on. <laughs> we just need to fix a mic and a webcam for him because he's is even worse than Luke's. Yep. <laughs> we will do that one day. Yeah, not a problem. <laughs> um, right then, so uh, so Martin, how how can people find out about LARP Forge? Tell tell everyone how to how to find you. Well, they can go to YouTube and type in a LARP Forge, and then one word. Yeah, one word. You could probably also type it into, but type it in one, <laughs> and then probably that should pop up a YouTube channel or yeah. um, some videos with my face on it. Uh huh. So that will get. And, that and will get then you, you, you're kind of in the right direction. Right direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. There's also a Tumblr and a Facebook page and an Instagram and Twitter and all that other places. But you can probably also find if you find the youtube page you can also find the other one yeah 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 and we'll also put links up to those uh, as well so people can just uh, go to the show notes and click those yeah no trouble, Tom. absolutely absolutely luke are you back you're stuck in the matrix <laughs> he's, a, he's, a glitch, he's a glitch in the matrix by the look of complete and utter confusion on his face i'm gonna say that's a no I feel like I can hear somebody clicking, but I don't know if it's Luke. 
I think that just yeah. may, may be your mind playing tricks. Yeah, he's got he's getting... in. Alex? Luke, is there anybody there? Is there anybody there? <laughs> Was it not pl- is is it not plugged in? Uh, and for those people on the audio podcast, Luke's just held up the end of a USB cable. He's now saying things that I probably shouldn't even try to translate. <laughs> Gesticulating quite wildly. <laughs> oh my dear God. Oh, that's fine. Uh, so thank you very much for coming on, Adin. It's been an absolute delight. Yeah. Um, uh, yes, uh, uh, I guess, Dennis, you can't come on. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a new webcam. Cool. Yeah, excellent, Brilliant. excellent, excellent. <laughs> we'll, we'll get him on again. Luke, Luke's just going to sit there now and look pretty uh, for us. That's fine as well. Um, so that's that's kind of it. That's all we're going to do for tonight, I think. Uh, <laughs> before... I mean, I can't say that Luke can even tear it any more hair. Because he can't. <laughs> so if you if you've got any any sort of enjoyment out of this out of this podcast tonight, why not pop across along to Patreon? <laughs> um, and, you know, lapbook.com forward slash Patreon and and uh, try and give us some of your money to to help Luke out. Um, he is a needy child. Uh, <laughs> in need of <laughs> Do you do you have a dollar you can spare every month? Then why not donate it to patreon.com forward slash lamp book and maybe we can give Luke a better internet or something. I don't... Oh. <laughs> oh god. The sheer comedy. Um Oh, so, uh, but anyway, right. So, a big thank you to all of our lovely patrons that already sort of uh, make a contribution to this podcast. Uh, and... I've got to jump in just one more thing. Go on. Um, it's, it's Dennis again. Yeah. Dennis, you've got to come on. Dennis, play play Disturb Sounds of Silence for Luke. <laughs> it's the sound of silence. Uh, so, yes. A big thank you to all of our lovely but to, to, to our patrons because it does help make this show go uh, just a little bit easier on our pockets. No, um, so if you would like to get in contact with the show, just email lapbookshow at gmail dot com. Is there a topic you would like us to discuss, or something cool you saw, or fancy writing an article, sending a video in, etc.? Then you know, uh, just email us lapbookshow at gmail dot com. We'll be happy to sort of chat to you. Uh, and get stuff on and whatever else you need not a problem uh, and that's kind of about it for that so uh, music was provided by Ben Sound of bensound.com uh, I've already mentioned the Patreon patreon.com forward slash LARPbook our shop is over on at redbubble.com just search for LARPbook and you'll see all the lovely wonderful swag you can get there you can listen to this podcast on iTunes Stitcher YouTube uh, uh, Twitch I might be putting it back up there again and Podbean just search for LARPbook or any other podcast uh, thing where you get it from right whatever you use we're probably on there somewhere uh, email the show show at gmail.com Visit the site, lapbook.com, news, reviews, etc. Lots of wonderful stuff on there. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Just search for Lapbook, you will find us. And don't forget, give us a five-star review on iTunes or anything else that you use to actually listen to this podcast. Luke's face is an absolute picture. Um, so that's it from me. I've been Stuart Edwards. That's Robert Davis. The quiet one is Luke Fit, And that's Martin from Forge. Thank you very much, Martin, for coming on. Yes. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye, all. Bye bye. <laughs> As Luke just waves forlornly in the distance. Yeah, I'll call you Luke, don't worry, that's fine. I'll call you later, we can work it out.